Say, do you like rare antique cars? Well, a lot of people do. What about unusual shops and studios where you can browse and even have a place to eat? Well, our first destination has it all. It's Marathon Village in Nashville where Gretchen Bates uncovers some of the history and modern day attractions of this Tennessee landmark. Marathon Village was once home to the Marathon Automobile, which was the first car completely manufactured in the southern United States. In the early 1900s, Marathon had dealerships in every state of this country, and its cars were selling worldwide. They built the Marathon Automobile here. It moved from Jackson, Tennessee. They started uh, production in 1910, and they went to 1914. Barry Walker owns Marathon Village, and he's the local expert when it comes to Marathon's namesake automobile. Marathon is a very well-built car. It's a mid-range car, uh, a lunar block, lunar transmission, uh, great design car. Uh, William Collier was a phenomenal designer. He designed it, the engineer of the car, and then later on went on to many other patents. Had over 40 patents. Unfortunately, Marathon's run was short. After just four years of production, the plant closed its doors. Nashville seemed to forget about the old car factory. That is, until Barry came along. Well, when I came down the street, I saw this beautiful building. It was just gorgeous. It has gorgeous detail, these little V's and all this great work, and vines covering the entire building. I thought, I can't believe this part of town, this building is just sitting here vacant like this. It just, I was just sort of taken by it. People call them crazy when you purchased Marathon Village back in the 80s. All of these buildings were scheduled to be torn down. But Barry's vision turned this old rundown car factory into an historic retail space where creative business owners make and sell everything from whiskey to candy. Oh, you've got to be definitely creative. It may be kind of weird at the same time. <laughs> well, I wouldn't call her weird. But Sarah Souther is definitely creative. She's the founder of the Bang Candy Company. Here at Marathon, we sell all our different candy products, marshmallows, caramels, fudge, bark, honeycomb toffee, all sorts of different sweeties. Lots of little sweeties and great coffee. But what Bang Candy is really known for is its marshmallows. It's very simple, actually. So it's basically sugar. We make a, a syrup. We whip ge gelatin into it. Um, that kind of creates the volume. And then we add whatever flavors. We let it cool. Then we cut them all by hand. And then we dip them in a really yummy Belgian chocolate. And that's it. We have a bunch of flavors. We've got rose cardamom. That was the first one. Uh, chocolate chili. It's got a bit of spice to it. Toasted coconut and almond maple bacon bourbon, black currant absinthe. Um, I started totally by accident. I went to a local restaurant and tried some handmade marshmallows and I thought, wow, these are amazing. I went home that night. I've had a few drinks, let me say. So I went home and I fiddled around in my cupboard and I found some rose water and some cardamom and I thought, ooh, that'd be lovely. And so I made some rose cardamom marshmallows brought them to a party the next day. Everybody loved them, and then people called me and said, oh, can you make me some of those? And it kept sort of organically rolling along like that. Um, Mike Wolf has been a friend of mine for a while. Or he was like, you should come down and have a look. So I came down, and I immediately fell in love with the, with the building. And I met Barry, and he's my kind of fella. You know, he's wild and crazy and creative. And so I was like, yeah, this is my kind of place. Sarah's friend, Mike Wolf, is the owner of Antique Archaeology, which also has a store at Marathon Village. You might recognize Mike from his television show, American Pickers. Now, the reason we wanted to be here is because, you know, this place has such a presence and such a soul. So when I bring old things here that have soul, that have character, I'm placing them in a place that has soul and has character, and it's got uh, amazing history. I mean, it was a marathon car factory. We find a lot of transportation-related things. It just made sense. Some of those iconic cars are on display at Marathon Village. One of Barry's many passions has been collecting original marathon automobiles. There aren't many left these days. There's only eight that we know of in the world existing. Where we were being interviewed is the original showroom of the Marathon. In the administration office building, we got uh, four of the original Marathons. I've got a 1911 
marathon that was a one at a county fair. My two younger brothers called the Hell Brothers, which is pretty neat. There's a touring car, it's a dark blue touring car in 1914 that was owned by Buster Hartman. And then I have a few other cars, original body, and of course I got a little roadster, it's a white roadster, 1911 roadster. It's been a whole circus race putting this all back together, not just basically developing the neighborhood, but bringing the history all back over the years. There are over 45 businesses that now call Marathon home. There's the garage coffee shop with its car motif, a distillery with all sorts of award-winning spirits to sample, and there are designers, architects, jewelers, and painters. And there's a lot of visionaries in this building because there's a lot of creative companies. Now we've got Otis James here, he makes hats, he makes ties. There's Emil Irwin here, he does amazing leather products. There's a tremendous amount of things going on here. It's got a great vibe. It's, this is a place that you can come and spend two or three hours with your family. It's everything that Barry could have hoped for when he first found Marathon Village so many years ago. So, you know, I love the buildings. I love everything. It's just a great environment to have. And you pretty much, I pretty much created my own reality here. You know, I kind of meet the kind of people I want to be around. It's all about, we're here for a short time and make the best out and keeping your life exciting and fun.